although our exertions to discover him are unremitted, but they will not restore my beloved William. Come, dearest Victor, you alone can console Elizabeth. She weeps continually and accuses herself unjustly as to the cause of his death. Her words pierce my heart. We are all unhappy, but will not that be an additional motive for you, my son, to return and be our comforter? Your dear mother. Alas, Victor, I now say, thank God she did not live to witness the cruel, miserable death of her youngest darling. Come, Victor, not brooding thoughts of vengeance against the assassin, but with feelings of peace and gentleness that will heal instead of festering the wounds of our minds. Enter the house of mourning, my friend, but with kindness and affection for those who love you, and not with hatred for your enemies. Your affectionate and afflicted father, Alphonse Frankenstein. Geneva, May 12, 17. as I read this letter, was surprised to observe the despair that succeeded to the joy I at first experienced.